Hi, and welcome to another episode of Human Anatomy and Physiology with James. Today we'll be looking at the skull. Uh, the skull can be divided into two separate sets of bones, the cranial bones and the facial bones. The cranial bones, again, protect the brain, while the facial bones are the bones of the face. So let's zoom in on our skull here and let's uh, look at some of the bones. Uh, you're good? Isn't it? First bone is the frontal bone, the forehead. Posterior to the frontal bone are two parietal bones, right here. These two bones are the parietal bones, and posterior is the occipital bone. Now you're probably wondering what these markings represent. Well, these bones are fused together at joints that are called sutures. This here, joining the frontal bone to the parietal bones would be called the cor uh, coronal suture. I'm sorry, the coronal suture. Joining the two parietal bones will be the sagittal suture. And joining the posterior occipital bone to the parietal bones will be the lambdoid suture. Lateral, on the sides of the head, are two bones called the temporal bone. Here's one temporal bone and the second temporal bone. The temporal bone is fused to the parietal bones by way of the squamous suture, as you can see right here. And that's primarily the cranial bones for you. Now let's look at the facial bones. First bone, the nasal bone. The nasal bone is joined to the lacrimal bones. You have two lacrimal bones, one on this side one on this side. This is the zygomatic bone. Okay, are you getting this? Zygomatic bone. Two zygomatic bones. The zygomatic process. This is part of the temporal bone. Okay, Join, forming what's called the zygomatic arch. If you look down, forming the arch. You'll notice that the orbitals is not actually one bone, but is a collection of bones. So let's look at the orbitals as closely as possible. Let's zoom in into that eye socket right there. Can you get that? Okay. At the way back, the, all the way back, that is called the superior orbital fissure. Right next to the orbital fissure. Are you getting that? Can you see that? Right next to the orbital fissure is the optic canal. Okay, making our way down inferiorly is the inferior orbital fissure. Now the bones that make up the orbit are the following. Again, you have the zygomatic bone right here. Uh, this plate, this will be the orbital surface of the maxilla bone. I'm not sure, can you see that? Orbital surface of the maxilla bone. All the way in the back, that is the sphenoid bone. Okay, that surrounds the optic canal. All the way back here, that is the sphenoid bone that, form, that surrounds the optic canal. The sphenoid bone also continues on the lateral wall of the orbit. That's the greater wing of the sphenoid bone. And the sphenoid, sphenoid bone will get its own attention in another video. Okay. Moving forward from the sphenoid bone is the ethmoid bone. And right in front of the ethmoid bone is the lacrimal bone. Those are the bones of the orbit. At the very top, lining the top, is the frontal surface, the orbital surface of the frontal bone. Okay? That's the facial bone um, and the orbits for you. And they continue on both sides. Now the nasal cavity is divided by what's called the vomer bone. And you'll notice that there are more bones uh, pertaining to the nasal cavity. And another special bone, which I will share with you in another video, is the ethmoid bone. Here's the perpendicular plate of the ethmoid bone, the inferior concha of the nasal bone, I'm sorry, ethmoid bone on both sides, and the middle concha of the ethmoid bone on both sides. And those are the facial bones. There's one bone which I will reserve later, and that is the mandible. We'll take that off, put that aside. And I want to share with you two 
uh, markings of the facial bones. The supraorbital foramen. Foramen refers to holes for the passage of nerves and blood vessels. Another set of foramen reside beneath the orbits. These are called the infraorbital foramen. Okay. Now let's get an inferior view of our skull. Quite a few holes down there, aren't they? Aren't there? First bone, again, is the maxilla, the process of the palatine bone. This marking here, where my pencil is inserting, that is called the incisive fossa. Inferior to the uh, maxillary process of the palatine bone is the hard palate, the palatine bone. Moving down, we have the vomer once again. And surrounding the vomer and the sphenoid bone are holes, the more foramen. The first one I want to point out is the foramen ovale. Okay, can you see that? The foramen ovale, foramen spinosum, okay, foramen Lacerum, this is the carotid canal. Okay, are you getting that? You got that? Carotid canal. This here is the jugular foramen. This would be the stylomastoid foramen. This giant hole, the foramen magnum, through which your spinal cord will exit. And remember, the spinal cord is an extension of the brain. Flanking the foramen magnum are these occipital condyles, which will articulate with the vertebrae. More bone markings that are important here include the mastoid process, part of the temporal bone, the styloid process, okay? Um, important markings, the external occipital crest, and down here, the external occipital protuberance right there okay posteriorly oh, one more thing or two more things this is the mandibular fossa which will articulate with the mandible bone which I will point out shortly we'll look at shortly and the external acoustic meatus the ear canal okay so those are the bones of and markings of the inferior view of the skull. Now before we look inside, I want to point out the mandible, the jaw. Some of the uh, key things you ought to know about the mandible. This is the mandibular condyle. This articulates nicely oops, excuse me, with the mandibular fossa that I just pointed out. Okay, you see that? Okay. This here would be the mandibular ramus, the angle of the mandible. Two holes on the mandible bone, these are the mental foramen. The space between the teeth, those are called alveolar, alveolar spaces, alveoli. The coronid, coronoid, process, I'm sorry, the coronoid process right here, okay, notch, that is the mandibular notch, mandibular notch, okay, now let's look inside the skull, let's take off the cranial top and look inside, we see the same holes that I pointed out for you earlier, except now we have what is called the foramen rotundum, right here, which we don't see at the inferior view. But all the other holes remain the same. That there is the optic canal. Okay, if you trace those holes from the inferior view, that's the uh, foramen lacerum, the foramen ovale, foramen spinosum. Look inside the skull. Foramen lacerum, foramen ovale, foramen spinosum. And this outline that I have here for you is the sphenoid bone, which again will get special attention in another video. 
and here is your crista gallia of the ethmoid bone, another bone which will get special attention in another video. And there you have it, ladies and gentlemen, the skull. Thank you, and uh, more can be found on my website, www.orangejames.com. Thank you.